I loved it. And you know what else I love? Our next guest, oh. because they starred on Broadway in a billion, million, trillion shows, mm -hmm. most recently in The Prom. And she can also be seen in the newly released film adaptation of The Prom, streaming right now on Netflix. Now she is the founder of a video platform for Broadway performers to create exciting new content for young audiences. Please welcome to the show, Vasli Mompoy. I wanted to act like I was running in. Like, hey, oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> I think you're our first guest to make an entrance. Make an entrance, like she's coming in from the side, like the audience is like, yeah, Boston! Yeah. <laughs> Let's start off with what everyone has been gabbing about, the prom. Yeah. You've been with the prom since it's kind mm -hmm. of workshop productions. Do you feel like you've really completed a, a cycle of like helping to birth something to the yeah. whole wide world? I do, and I love prom. It's so great. It's it just it's helped us out a lot uh, a lot through the last few years. And uh, I got to like choreograph a number in the movie. Yeah, so really cool. great. And, <laughs> and I want to ask you about. I know that uh, you getting choreographed for the movie was a bit of a surprise. You got bumped into choreographing rather last minute. Casey Nicola, I guess, couldn't make it to set uh, and kind of handed you the reins. I was absolutely terrified because I was <laughs> so scared of Ryan Murphy. <laughs> Even though oh I did it for, uh, three or four months on set with him, I was like, oh god, he's gonna hate me. But it was uh, it was absolutely amazing. It was one of the first productions to open back up in LA, so everybody was very like so happy to be working and kind and they knew that i was like new to that to choreographing for film and all that stuff and they were in incredibly nice to me the entire team but that first time they're like all right so vasti uh go ahead and set the piece because i couldn't prepare anything before they're like everything has to be done on the spot uh from what ryan wants and i was like great no pressure um, <laughs> but the moment Whoa. everyone around me was silent and it was like maybe four weeks after black lives after all that big stuff happened and mm -hmm. i was like the only woman of color on set with power and it felt absolutely incredible that is super great here's to more of that in the future well i was about to say now you're a part of the ryan murphy verse which means i better see you in american horror story <laughs> i better see you in if you they bring directing back directing american Screen horror Queens. story i want all of it i want you directing starring in i want you both I want it all. you've been very busy you started a new channel called bossy's friends uh, that is a platform for Broadway talent to create and choreograph for young audiences. I love that. It's so weird. So it started out where I was like, I, I've always had a huge connection to kids. And when it also, when the pandemic started, I was like, we need to find a way to help these parents um, distract their kids so they can get like a little bit of peace because I knew they're mm -hmm. going to be home. This is when we thought it was going to be two weeks. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they're like, oh, it's just two weeks vacation. Everyone's like posting selfies. Um, and then the Black Lives Matter movement happened, and then science was starting to be denied, and then trans women were getting killed, and all this stuff was happening. And I was just looking at everything, and I was like, we're doing everything wrong. People don't know the struggles of a lot of marginalized communities. I think everyone thinks that like LBGTQ issues for teens was fixed. They think Black issues are fixed. They think that everyone actually like agrees to wear a mask. and. I was like, instead of getting angry and mad like I had been, I was like, I'm going to flip this and make it joyous and instead teach kids at a young age that all that's ridiculous, but do it in a fun, joyous way through theater. And it's been like the brightest spot in this pandemic. We've gotten featured in the LA Times. It's been a really beautiful part of a sad, crazy time. Uh, first of all, can you even with this illustration? So cute. <laughs> this is the handle for Basti's Friends. Uh, go give them a follow. They're doing some really incredible work that is just super, super exciting. Um, Basti, what do you think are the things that kids today need the most? Well, I actually ask them this all the time. And you know what's funny? They think that everything that everyone's fighting fighting about is so dumb because they they really do believe that Black Lives Matter. They really do believe that LBG in LBGTQ, right? They, they believe in all of these things. Yeah. Um, and the thing that they believe in most and the thing that I find they're most concerned about is actually the planet because yeah. they're young and they're like, hey, you guys have been fighting over this for a while. It's pretty crappy. Can you fix that so that we can live on the planet? Because you guys are going to be dead. <laughs> Oh. Can you guys fix the planet? To tie it back to what uh, our fairy godmother said, 
I believe the children are our are future. Our future. <laughs> Wait, I heard you guys talking about Cinderella. I had on like, I had braids the other day with like a, a baseball cap getting a COVID test oh. and two people thought I was Brandy. And I was like, she hasn't had braids in years. <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, oh, it's so nice. Really yes. Cool. Yeah. 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 Cool. Vasi, you are such a joy. You are such a light. Thanks for coming to play Thank with us. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Good, Good morning, morning tonight. tonight.